Okay, welcome back to me. My ISP finally got resolved. Uh, so here's today's business as usual. Let's get down to Bionic Charts, Hall of Wonders. Uh, we'll have to uh, land here, I guess. Uh, of course, it's night time. It always bloody night time. Well, majority of times, anyway. Let's um, get out and take a look at the view. So, view of the flight deck at night. A fair few holograms there. And the lights of the structure, the Hall of Wonders. I'm wondering. Ah, morning has a rizzed. He's put lumps around there. Oh, there's those um, bowls, aren't they? They're, uh, Contain the glass container things. As we all know, I am not a collector of bric a brac. I don't collect all the collectibles. I don't use building materials. Right, so let's have a quick look at the uh, coordinates. Okay. Right, now the first problem is oh, well, we're going to go look at the observation tower. It's one of these balloon types. It's his favourite observation point. You can tell it's his just by see if you can see the uh, observation. Let's get over to the wall. We can have a look over. And there it is from the height of the observation tower. And there we go. That's easy enough. As you can see, he's got his balloons. And it's heated. <laughs> it's a hot air balloon. Out we come again. Out we go. Let's go down. All right, we've got live fissures and the rhombus. No, not rhombus. What's it called? I have no idea. Whatever shape they call those. Uh, we're greeted by a couple of vampire deers. Two-legged vampire deers. Oh, crap. Nearly see these bollocks. Let's get down to the next one. Triceratops. Two triceratops. Nicely planted on the floor, that. That's very clever. Because it's quite hard to get that right. <laughs> At least it is for me, anyway. What we got up there? We got a horned, long necked diplo with shoulder pads. So there's two of them. Okay, we're okay. We're all right. We're not scared. Uh, we can get down on the ground here. Uh, so he's got a fish tank up there. Uh, not a fish tank, a uh, the worm in a bucket. Get the other side, see if there's one on the other side. Probably have to jump down to get to those. Yep, another one down there. Up. Uh, do we want to go down first or do we want to go... Okay, we go down. Right, what we got? We've got over here a fish tank with a tank in it. <laughs> okay, that's so you can stand in there without getting your clothes wet. There's a door. What's in the door? Wait, why have we got a Diplo head sticking out of here? What, is you going to do something different there? I don't know, or is it grown back? I don't know. Is it one on the other side? There's a door. Ah, uh, there is no dinosaur this side. I wonder if the other one was a mistake. Left in from a previous idea. Maybe not. <laughs> Who knows? We got some ice statues. So obviously this is you know, jumping down inside the fish tank. Oop, nearly missed. Nearly missed. Okay, so yep, there it is. We're in this cube inside the fish tank. Alrighty. So what do you do? Put the cube down first and then the fish tank? I don't know. That's for you clever bastards to work out. I don't bother. Right, uh, I guess that's going to be the same. Uh, we'll check anyway. And yes. 
one lonely fish. <laughs> Hope he's not hungry and looking at me with, you know, a bib on. And back up. All right, we'll walk down the walk down the passageway. We can see from the outside there the fish tank. And of course, on top of that is the uh, the uh, worms on the top. Obviously, that must be where the worms are, not the worms, the slugs. I don't know why, they're worms. They're just fat worms, I guess. Slugs. And there's that. Neatly arranged as per norm. We got a. <laughs> we got a. What they, oh, I forget what I call them. What do I call them? I don't know. Uh, you got a bat over there and a. Blobby man here. Hello, Blobby man. Um, nip jum. Nip What a name. Good job he can't write. He'd have trouble spelling it. So he's planted a load of things to make it look like a habitat for him, which is a good idea. Uh, over here we got coloured rainbow. The rainbow, where's the pot of gold? <laughs> That's quite a few pieces in there. I don't envy laying them down. What else we got behind is a fire in a in a in a hex thingy, the the rock, what do they call them? Inside a clam. I don't know if they're on extras. Are they extra? The light bulbs? I don't know. Ooh, don't want to go that way. There's no way out that way. And that brings us round to the thing again. So we carry on through. Anything underneath? Oh, I felt a vibration there. Our way is built on a, a monolith. All right, he's built round a monolith again. He loves building round these. Well, not these in particular, but uh, he likes building on ex existing sites. Very clever. Discord interface. And here we have some sort of big flappy thing, flying saucer. It's Roswell. He's green smoking it. Don't know what he's smoking. Some strange tobacco. <laughs> Where would he stick it? I don't know. Now we need to get out of here because we've no idea where we are again. And I could have sworn there was like a bat thing unless it was that wing. The round thing. Oh, no, there he is. Like a pterodactyl bat. <laughs> kind of like that anyway. Uh, so he's held up. He doesn't know, but he's in suspension. Rocks, another desert, but like a another biome for him. Really, that's pretty clever. All right, where are we? Because <laughs> I've got myself lost. I think I'm back to the beginning, really. Uh, the, yeah, it's a Corvax monolith, and that's the way we came in. What have we got? What? Were they there before? Perhaps they hadn't drawn in. All the purple. Purple lines. Don't remember seeing them. Let's get out. Don't see any other way out, so we're off. Wim's off. Here, above the first tunnel, the sideways walls. Yup. Yarp. There's a mixture of things in there. And there's quite a few of them, so that is a lot of work. Getting it lined up would be a pain in the arse. I don't try I don't blame you. Give up, me, give up. What we got up here? Ceilings, stairs. And the next passageway. And this passageway's got them three items. Is it three? Possibly could be two, but loads again, lining up 
must be a bastard. The same walls on a tilt. Coming out to a pond. And like a triffid park. All these triffids. I guess that's what they're based on. Is that always like that? Is that a couple of items in there? I don't know. What's that purple crap? Uh, I don't know. Like you know, I don't collect things like that. Let's get down the other end again. Obviously no way out of that way. And take a sharp left. Is there enough room? Just about. Look at that. Oh, we're going up a wall, but that's okay. Uh, we got the cubes, the floating cube room. Or corridor, I mean. Uh, again, with the laying down walls. Now on to yet another Triffid Park. And a hex bush in the way. Uh, can I get around it? Yeah, just about. Don't want to push in. I don't want to get my feet wet. I'm moving back down the other end again. Get here and go left as usual. I like my left. Right, we got a line of uh, skulls. Again. Hard to line them up. Why does the tree look like it's floating? It probably is. <laughs> okay. Same walls and the triffids are back. And they've got a, a monument to the Diplos. Unless the Diplos built it. Uh, must have been hard with those chubby hands, but there you go. Let's get back down. Well, that was an initiate spec, was it? Oh, sorry to get it. There's a, there's a ball in there. Moving on back to the beginning of this tunnel. Ah, uh, okay. He was almost spot on with his... Oh, wait, this is all green snots. <laughs> I, I feel like I need to be walking in with an umbrella. In case they drip. And again. Search north. I missed it. Search cave in the north for a hidden shrine. Uh, north is... That way? I suppose we got to jump these. Uh, okay. Well, it looks like a cave. Let's go on down then. Uh, there's a thing. Could be a shrine. It's got another message box on it. And this one says, continue north. I'm glad they got them fixed. They used to be annoying. <laughs> continue north. I think, well, yeah, north, that way. Well, it's quite bright in here, actually. Good job it's not night time, I guess. Keep on going. What we're looking for, we've no idea. Unless that's the shrine. Shall we go slightly uh, left to continue on for the shrine? So, hidden piece of his structure. Look at them bloody things. They're massive. Can I pick it up? <laughs> Probably not. One big hex plate. In a puddle. That's the shrine to the hex plate in a puddle. If that makes sense. I don't know if there's anything else. It doesn't say continue north or anything, so... Looks just like a normal tunnel cave. Cave tunnel. Now, where's the way out, though? Does it say... Oh, wait, there's my boat. So it's this way. We will head towards the boat... Because then we know where we are. Yeah, we did go left, so it must be right now. Okay, we get to the end. We'll see at the other end. Okay, that was a lot. 
quicker than I thought, but never mind. I'll just cut a little bit out. Uh, I cut them stuck. Move. Bits and pieces. Are they laid or are they part of the planet? Probably. Probably. Good answer. Next, we got to find a way back in. I think it was these. So, over we go. Oh, yeah, look at that. There's the snot hanging from the ceiling. So, triffids to snot balls. Seems to be some sort of fissure of light going up there as well. My torch is still on. And then we go to the blue balls. The blue balls. <laughs> I don't know. Are they all... Uh... Oh, yeah, they are. They're just like... Again, get them in the right order. Right place. Placement being topmost priority to make it look good. Otherwise, it looks silly if they're all different heights. Back out, back out. There's definitely the uh, monolith thing. And this is where we came in then. Just check. Yeah, okay. Definitely where we came in. There's the, the balls of fire. So we were just... One last look on the outside. Just in case we join the slug. There's the slug. And then we get on the roof without falling through. Uh, I'll just go back there. Well, that was useless. I kept falling through, so I'm not going to walk along a roof. But you can see what it's made of anyway, so uh, it seems to be getting dark. Uh, it'll be past my bedtime in a minute. Curfew hour. Uh, we got more um, uh, fissures as a tunnel entrance, though. I never noticed that. Were they just drawn in? Uh, possibly, or I was a, I was not thinking. And there it is, back up the stairs, past the holograms, the protectors of the wonders. Ooh, nice bit of chicken leg. Put it on the Barbie. Squeeze out through here, and that's it. Excellent base as usual. He builds such good bases. I don't know how he does it. Anyway, we're off. We'll see you later.